Oh, this is the part I got, and they clarified this. So, so obviously, if you have uh, Windows 7 or 8, you're getting um, that little Windows icon popping up in the corner, presuming you have a nice legitimized copy of Windows. I have one that has some issues with the licensing. Not... It's not illegal. I just put it in wrong. Okay, it's it's just something I did. Okay, I didn't. I am not stealing a copy. I just forgot to install Windows XP and it won't accept my upgrade key first. But anyways, we're gonna fix that. Sorgatron Media is stealing. No, no, no. I think <laughs> I there is no license used here that I think is it's. I should not say any of this stuff on air. Uh, don't call me out on it. But no, I I think everything is is from a legit copy. It's not pulling a, a double. Thing or everything is online on Adobe Cloud, so I can't even screw that up. Mm -hmm. So um, I might have a disc from college that might not be the, on the up and up, but I, <laughs> I'm not using it. A three, so. Is that a three and a half or five and a quarter? Uh, a DVD, CD, <laughs> oh, DVD? probably. Oh, okay. C CD, probably. I mean, you know, I mean, you went to college. You know how the mm -hmm. you know how the uh, the the marker uh, Photoshop copies floated around school or or zip drive or whatever it was. I miss zip drives. <laughs> I watched Godzilla. The jazz really. drive. Did you watch Godzilla? The no. new Godzilla I watched it over the weekend, and there's a point where they're like, something happened 15 years ago, and they had to go get the data, and it's just a stack of zip drives. And I'm like, oh, they're <laughs> never getting that back. And then like two scenes later, it's like they found a zip drive. Was it scuzzy or par parallel? Oh, it looked like it looked like the later USB one. Okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To get, I'm sorry about that. Um, no, if you don't know what a zip drive is, you have not experienced pain. Um, Google Iomega zip drive. <laughs> I don't make a zip drive and <laughs> click of death. <laughs> click of death was oh, the big thing. I hated thing. that. Uh, and those discs weren't cheap. Apparently, the Art Institute was the founder of the click of death that I went to. So, anyways, what the heck were? I, oh, oh, so Windows Ten. Anyways, Windows Ten. I didn't even get. To, I didn't even finish the thing. So, if oh, so if you get that, you 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 have your place in line. You have that copy. You're good. You're gonna get it. Okay. Any Windows 7 or 8.1 user. Any system, yeah, Windows 7 or 8.1 user. Uh, supposedly everybody within the first year of its release will be able to do this. I don't and if know. you're still on 8, you're allowed to upgrade to 8.1 to then get in line. So you have to get the 8, one to get in line. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. That, that is interesting. Um, now, if you don't have a copy readily available, here's the workaround. So Windows 10 Preview Edition, if you go sign up with your Microsoft account that you'll be using, to the Microsoft Insiders program, go get the technical preview that they currently have released, and you, when when it comes around for the release, you will be able to update or reinstall or something on that computer from the technical preview to the official legitimate copy of Windows 10. This is where it gets interesting to me. Because, I, again, I have the one with a weirdly legitimate but illegitimate in practice copy of Windows 7. And for, you know, in a blue screens every time I put a Windows XP disk in there for some reason. So I, I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. And the code, and actually it's because the code, white, uh, the legitimate code for Windows 7 uh, rubbed off the bottom of the laptop. So, I mean, I, you're stuck. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. But I can go get a technical, pre technically, I think I'm right. Go get a technical preview of that. Throw it on this laptop. Throw it on boot camp on my MacBook. That's where it gets interesting, right? And I'll be able to update to the legitimate copy, and now I have copies for those computers that I didn't before. And in the, the article, and this is where I'm confused. So even the article you have here from The Verge, okay, was then updated at 9:45 a.m. on June 21st. <laughs> because I think after that, uh, somebody made Microsoft clarify this process, and I think there's a little bit more to it. Here. And I, I heard one of the things I heard today was. You you have to stay on the insider. You that's can stay right. slow that ring. Is, that's can, the other thing. You uh, can go slow ring or fast ring. Right. But you have to stay. That is the on other the thing. You will always be on the insider program. You will always get the pre-release, not final versions. Yes. But that hasn't been too big of an issue. And I would totally agree with that, especially if you're going slow ring. But you said you can do slow. I didn't even know this was an option. So slow ring is you get up. You don't get it like alpha. You get like beta or close to release, right? Yeah. It's kind of like wait for that later edition of Yosemite Mac OS X before you jump on because yeah. they've worked out all the big bugs by now. It, it, they have two different. If you're familiar with um, Apple's Apple Seed program versus the developer program, it's kind of along those lines where you're on a different release cycle and your release cycle is 
the bug fixes for the last beta, whereas for the the bug fixes for the last developer beta without the new enhancements that are part of the new developer beta. Mm-hmm. So so it kind of gives you a little more stability. I will say I ran, I'm I'm running slow ring. Right. Krauss is running fast ring. Of course he is. <laughs> of course he is. And he's had to he has had to rebuild his laptop once. So, and, and so the don't thing do is, this. Don't do this on your main business computer. This is, this is go out and download VirtualBox or yeah. go grab a, an extra machine. Yeah, with, I mean, this is like I'm throwing this as my secondary OS on my MacBook and on an older laptop that I would like to have updated because mm-hmm. I think it still has some life left in it, right? And we'll right. see. Maybe it won't. Maybe, maybe I'll put this on and it'll just not work. It runs on an Atom-based processor. I know, I know, but I think they're might be a hardware problem with this computer too so i think like like i said it blue screens when it tries to learn a windows xp setup program the the interesting thing about the insider program too is is they they actually do a lot of voting and and a lot of uh, gathering feedback but they're not slow about it at, at all really so they'll contact the insiders via twitter or via whatever and say you can get you can get a fast ring update tomorrow Mm -hmm. but we know that every amd video card is going to have an issue and potentially reboot on occasion until we get it fixed so read the what release, do you guys want so read the release notes every well, no, time, they'll right? say what do you guys want and yeah the, depending on the responses will be depending if they release it hmm. so it's all about majority and and feedback and everything like that they just did it, i think with windows phone too usually about three to four days if they release something that they know is broke after about three to four days they will get a fixed version and the slow ring user group will get that more polished fixed version versus the fast ring. Do, do you mind putting up with some random reboots and, and blue screen type issues in your build? Um, that being said to your point, I mean, other than software and some drivers not being ready for Windows 10, so again, it's not. I a, haven't seen again. Haven't seen I'm not putting issues. it on a primary or 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 anything like that. This is just like it'd be nice to have this on. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, our couple.